Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET and today I am going to fix that type of problem and what is the problem? When you take a username and email, both are different in the identity server, uh, in a, you can say that ESP.NET Core identity. Here we have both uh, username and email are different. So uh, what what uh, happening if both username and the email are different in ESP.NET Core? So uh, just I am seeding that role and the one user in uh, identity just make a admin for that application. So what, what should I do for this uh, things in ESP.NET Core? So just when we click on the login button, then you can see that uh, here we have default uh, username and password is there and uh, uh, here we have username and both username and email are different in database also. So you can see that. Wait for some times and you will see. Here we have the username and the password are different. Here we have username and email are different, sorry. So what should I do if uh, you got that type of uh, error message like that, okay. That password is click uh, click to login and you can see that this types of uh, error masses will generate identity invalid login attempt so if if you are uh, if you have username and the password uh, if you have username and email are different so must make uh, because sign in async method actually check the username so here you can say uh, that both username and the email are uh, same in the identity. So you can just uh, add email and pass that email in the in, into the username. So if I change that username and uh, sorry, uh, if I uh, uh, make some changes in username and the email and uh, both are same, then your problem will be resolved easily. So uh, just change this uh, email with the username. So replace the email with the username. So email and the username are the same in identity and your problem will be fixed. So you should take email as well as username in a in identity server both are the same. Because sign in uh, async method actually checked username instead of email. Okay. So here we have and you can see here we have user uh, and email and the passwords and e admin etc. So here we have SP and user. So here we have application user and the username and the email are same. So your uh, login error are removed easily. So thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and keep watching all other video tutorials.